We are at peak Uber. Uber is ripping off passengers and drivers. For example, last night I risked my life taking a passenger to the airport at 3 a.m. The snow and ice were so bad, the trip took twice as long as normal. So I asked Uber for a fare adjustment, you know, like more money, rejected. So I decided to dive deeper into the trip data and I was shocked to see this. The passenger paid $165 and I was only paid $65. And Uber claims commercial insurance and operational expenses at a perfectly round number of $50. I don't believe them. Uber's margin was about $32 and that 19% goes to things like Super Bowl commercials. And I can hear you. You're like, Levi, how is this bad? The passenger paid, Uber made good money and you made like, I don't know, $32 an hour to drive a car. I agree. Today, Uber is an amazing company. Anywhere in America, at any point in time, you can go into the Uber app and order a car hey, and a driver like with a car will show up. Uber's brand is so powerful that sometimes when I drive in Lyft, my Lyft passengers will, will say something like they're in their Uber. It's kind of like the way we say Google or Kleenex or Post-it note. In this video, I will show you that Uber isn't a transportation company. Uber is a casino disguised as a rideshare app. I analyze 20 of the exact same trips and each time Uber charged the passenger something different and paid me something different and had totally different expenses. Each trip was almost completely random. In fact, I was so confused. I had ChatGPT look at it and here's what ChatGPT said. Uber's platform is powered by complex data-driven algorithms that prioritize optimizing the company's revenue, sometimes at the expense of both passengers and drivers. While it may not be outright unfair by contractual standards, the lack of transparency and the inconsistent patterns in your data suggests that drivers, like passengers, are subject to hidden algorithmic influences. Uber isn't moving passengers from point A to point B. They're moving prices from point low to point high. And I just don't believe Uber's current business model is sustainable in the long run. Let me tell you why. First, autonomous car companies like Tesla, Waymo, Zooks are getting into the rideshare game. Uber can partner with them, but passengers will have more options and lower prices. Second, passengers will have access to their own artificial intelligence. Soon passengers will use bots to shop all options to include Uber, Lyft, Tesla, local taxis, the buses, whatever. And maybe if Apple can fix Siri, we'll say something like, hey, order me a taxi and AI will do all the shopping work for us. Third, for my fellow Uber drivers, we will be replaced by autonomous cars in the long run. However, in the short run, you and I can use AI to lead to more transparency and fair payments to drivers. Uber doesn't have cars. Uber doesn't have drivers. Uber is just an app. And apps are just real estate on our phones. All of these changes in the marketplace means Uber can only adapt with their current business model to more sophisticated algorithms and AI beats algorithms. The good news is that we will all have access to cheap AI. And this is why I believe we're at peak Uber margin per ride. What Uber owns is data and the algorithms that control how much you pay and how much I get paid. If Uber was just about miles and minutes, wouldn't fares be more consistent? Even when there's high demand, like surge pricing, that would still be pretty clear and obvious how much we're getting charged. Let's take a quick look at the 20 trips that I analyzed. About once a week, I take a passenger from Ithaca to Syracuse Airport. Except for bad weather, the trips are almost always identical, roughly 71 minutes and 61 miles. Passengers paid somewhere between $94 to $167. And that variable price had nothing to do with demand, 
type of ride, time of day. Sometimes I was paid as little as $41 and other times as much as $167. Sometimes Uber lost as much as 34% on the trip and sometimes made as much as 35% on the trip. Even Uber's claim of commercial insurance varied wildly from $15 to $50, which makes no sense because the price is based upon miles. And, and that basically leads me to believe that Uber is just lying about their costs. They're hiding something. Who knows? But they're hiding something. The only consistent thing that I was able to find is that nothing is consistent. <laughs> nothing is the same. I'll put a link to all this data in the comments and you can look through it yourself and tell me what you think. The bottom line is that neither me nor ChatGPT could find any rhyme or reason, some sort of trend on why Uber prices their trips at what they do and why they pay drivers what they do. N nothing made sense. This is why I believe the price of an Uber isn't based upon things like time or distance. It's really based upon how much Uber thinks you will pay. If you are booking at the last minute, Uber will charge more. If you're checking fares multiple times and still book it, it's probably going to be more expensive. If you've paid more and if you've tipped in the past, Uber will just charge more. I bet even the kind of phone that you use can influence the price. Have you ever heard the rumor that Uber's pricing can even be based upon how much battery you have left in your phone? Imagine it's late at night, your battery's running down, you're looking for an Uber. Uber can almost charge you anything they want because they know you want to pay for something before your phone battery dies. That is not transportation. That's behavioral economics. But like I said, here's the game changer. Passengers will soon have access to their own AI tools. In the future, hopefully the near future, we'll use AI to shop for options. We'll use AI to predict when fares will be their lowest, compare prices across platforms, and even recommend the cheapest times to ride. Uber's pricing game will be exposed. And to my fellow drivers, we are not just driving passengers. You and I have known for quite some time that we're part of Uber's pricing experiment. Again, take a look at my airport ride as an example. Uber charged the passenger $165, and after expenses, I'm left with $65. And sometimes I make less when the passenger is paying more. Why? Because I think Uber is not paying me for the ride for time and distance. They're paying me what the algorithm predicts they can get away with. We'll use AI agents to analyze which trips are the most profitable, predict when Uber's algorithm will underpay us, and it will help us avoid the least profitable times and places to drive. I've been using ChatGPT for months to analyze all of my trips. The balance of power is going to shift. Uber is not selling rides. They're selling price manipulation. It's the same thing that casinos do. The house always wins. Uber's using data from billions of rides to tweak prices, test what passengers will tolerate, and see how little they can pay drivers without losing us. And this isn't sustainable because we're all going to have access to AI. Uber is making money off of an algorithm. But it's not a transportation company. It's a pricing machine. And pricing machines, well, they only work until people see behind the curtain. The more we understand how the system works, the more we have the power to beat it. And we have artificial intelligence to help us. If you've ever felt like Uber's pricing doesn't make sense, or maybe you're a driver and doesn't understand why your pay is always fluctuating, let's talk about it. Jump in the comments and let me know your story. Let's pull back the curtain together.